Ladies and gentlemen, number five, Texas, against number six, Oklahoma, one of the biggest rivalries oh, in United great. States history. So apparently they blew up the Cotton Bowl and they no longer play there? Yes. Is that what happened? Jason White, one of the greatest college quarterbacks of Oklahoma, was in it while it blew up. No Most news. fans of Oklahoma were happy that that actually ended up happening, though. Mm. Oklahoma made famous the one formation that we all know and hate, the wishbone. I mean, the monster rush had a pick against you. I don't know. Let's go to touchdown. I, I jumped that route. I tripped under the Well, they line up in the single back till they not wishbone. <laughs> Passing on first down. Oh, it's a pick! Mech! The mech attack! From, oh. from the movie Predator. Yeah. Mech! Oh, no, Mac! Arnold Schwarzenegger's not British, but in my <laughs> mind, he it's is. It's a new rendition of yes. the movie. No, Mac, don't go gay. I'm right here, hell, Mac! Come and get me right here. Right here. I'm right here, Predator. Do it now. Oh, God. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The big thing you have to understand right now here is that Texas Longhorns have the ball. He's throwing the ball. He's wide open. He's got to go for the touchdown. He doesn't get it. I will say one thing about Oklahoma that they have over Texas. They have a musical named after him. Texas, not so much. They actually do. Uh, I want to correct you real quick. Texas does have a, a musical named after it. What's it called? Texas. Texas. Fuck you. Name is... Sing a song. Sing that classic, Sing that tune, classic <laughs> tune. Well, let's... let's Let me get back into my natural state of show tunes real quick. So... <clears throat> la, 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 la. Sing with me now. <laughs> la, 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 la. Do re mi fa so la ti do. We don't know. Fucking you. I will give you one chance and let you off the hook and say you do not know a show tune. Actually, I do. Admit it. Admit it. Okay. <sighs> the man came down. The man came down. The man came down. It's a voice. It's a voice exercise. <laughs> the man came down the chimney and chimney chabity chew. The man came down. It's okay. <laughs> I've seen at least two water towers. There's one over to our left, right there. You see it? Who gives a it's fuck about this yeah, game? Yeah, it's so far in the distance. It's two different towns. That's two little it. dots. Dots. In the distance. Full of gays. Water. Oklahoma. I might no speculate it is full of semen. Uh, that, actually, I was just about to say Oklahoma, known for the masturbation capital of the world. There's more jizz going into the toilets in Oklahoma than any other toilets in the United States. They have actually lined their toilets so filled with the male ejaculate that it is used as a form of cement on their sidewalks. So how do you I, I, deal with the situation when poop just falls out of your butthole? Well, about four years ago, I decided to start a foundation called... <laughs> I decided to start, I decided to start a foundation called Poop for Kids. And the purpose of this it sounds like this. And the purpose of this foundation <laughs> was to fly to Africa and eat as much food as I can in front of the children. <laughs> At which point they would follow behind me. I grab my feces off the ground and put it in their mouth and, and eat the it. undigested food that just falls out of your mm -hmm. butthole. So a, I would get the pleasure of going. I'd get the pleasure of saying, "Nummy, nummy, this food is good inside my tummy." Oh, now it's on the ground. Please eat it. But you large belly kid. I'm feeding African children mm -hmm. and I'm indulging myself. Go fuck yourself, Angelina Jolie. I got this shit trick. That's actually the slogan of the company. <laughs> Let's be honest, nobody cares about this game. Tim, you uh, you recently had a... Oh, God. Oh. You recently had a... Breast reduction? No, no, no. A, a, a group that you created for giving. Did you elaborate a little bit on that? No, I can't. I 
have a full undisclosed uh, contract with them. Don't be modest. I can't. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tim, Tim Walton had the foundation called Lobsters for Life where he would grab 400 individuals and raid local grocers to make sure that the local lobsters that were kept in captivity were released. Now, the unfortunate side effect of this whole entire thing was the fact that Tim did not realize that lobsters need to be in salt water to be able to, to breathe. He would break out the, the glass tanks and then set them on the ground out in the parking lot. Many of which were run over by trucks and vehicles and things of that nature, but a noble cause nonetheless. And I think you're just being a little noble at the point. You know, just, just, just being a little modest. Well, thank you, Cameron. I had a bad experience with lobsters when I was scuba diving. Tell us what happened. Elaborate. Well, I was... Touchdown, Texas, by the way. <laughs> I was in the uh, Coral Reef, Australia, known for their lobster population. Excessively high lobster yes, population. Yes, yes. And um, I got too close, and one of them nipped off the tip of my penis. <laughs> Did they really know? Yes, and it is actually a ploy where I release the lobsters, and then I kill them. Would you say that this lobster was Jewish? And that he was <laughs> actually trying to attempt a circumcision of sorts? That may be the case, but... You can't trust a lobster, let alone a Jewish yeah. lobster. Well, I mean, for me, personally, most lobsters, in my professional experience, have had Parkinson's disease. Mm. Those claws are a little shaky. A tip, mm. a tip can turn into a chunk of a penis in a half a second, Tim. That's true. That's why I didn't take any chances, and I would like the world eradicated of all lobster population. Lobster circumcisions, obviously made popular by the French, uh, have been French some. Shoes, yeah. Have been have been slowly diminished over over time. You know, for a while there, we were having a nice conversation, Tim. Yes, about lobsters and penises. About our fundraising abilities, mm -hmm. about the fact that Angelina Jolie Lee doesn't do shit for African big belly children. She does shit for one. She adopts them. Yes, mm -hmm. one or two, however mm -hmm. many she... That's essentially like me saying, hey, guess what? I'm going to eat one ice cream cone and hope it falls out my ass for a kid. Right. I mean, what, when they turn 18, she's done? I mean, my I still live with my parents. They still keep take out, you know... Keep after me. <laughs> Help me, please. Wipe your little ass, don't they? Yeah, yeah I, feel like they, I, feel, I feel like they wipe your little ass just like I'm wiping no, your little do. ass right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 How about this? How about you sit? See, this is what happens when I don't have any parental guidance. Yeah. I'm lost. You just sit there and you say, Oh, I don't know what to do with my dick. It's in my hands, Daddy. And he says, Son, son, Point it away down. from your face. He says, Son, calm down. Point it downwards. It might feel awkward. You just grab it and you push it down. You ride that bad boy like a bull. You point it all the way straight down to the ground. See, I don't think Angelina Jolie can say it. No, she, she can't, can't say teach that to her no. black ch children. Because they're boys. Yeah. And they've got a third leg, otherwise known as a penis. How do you wrangle that thing? <laughs> Lord knows she can't. That frail frame. Two inch bones all across her body. I bet you ten bucks Brad Pitt doesn't even fuck. No, in general, he doesn't fuck. Okay, okay. He just doesn't. He's an asexual I, man that has a You know what? Dog. I think he gets. I think it's just a proximity thing with him. He gets too close to women and they. Uh, and they come. He can't get close enough to have sex with them. I've actually ejaculated seven times in the presence of Brad Pitt. Really? Mm -hmm. Did he enjoy it? How he didn't even know. Oh, really? I was interviewing him. Mm. It was my first job. Straight out of well, How was it? Hands down the pants, you know? No. I said, hi, Brad. Spot. I said, hi, Brad. How are you today? And he said, I'm doing real good. And I, I mean, said, I did juiced in my pants. It was pretty bad. How did the other six times go? Same thing, pretty much. You kept asking him the same question. I said, hi, how are you? And he was like, I'm continuing to be good. And I went, Ugh, yeah. And he was like, you okay? And I said, how are you? And he goes, 
Cameron, I'm fine. Why do you continue to ask me? And I say, and he said, are you okay? I said, hi, how are you, Brad Pitt? (laughs) And he said, I'm doing okay. And then I said, oh, I. And that continued to happen for at least four more hours. Brad Pitt and I are good friends to this day. We continuously enjoy Long John Silvers together. <laughs> Most of the fresh basket is, is, is the plate that we enjoy. Their tartar sauce, a delicacy in some countries, is riveting. So there's a game going on right now, apparently. <laughs> there's this game called football. Does that still involve a lot of points? Football was first invented after the invention of lobster circumcisions. They used the excess penis skin to create the ball. quarterbacks have complained how soft the ball is. <laughs> of, of course. <laughs> well, those, of course, in from 1993 to 1987, I mean, excuse me, 1993 <laughs> to 2007, <laughs> when the rash of just copious amounts of Asian testes and penis foreskins were used. Mm. Some of the tightest balls we've seen in the NCAA. Now, that was due to the uh, scarcity of lobster cir- circumcisions going on. What's that? That was due to the scarcity of lobster circumcisions. Yeah, and the only circumcisions that were going on were, It was outlawed. Of course. And the only circumcisions that were going on were, of course, the Asian natural circumcision, which mm. is done by a doctor. Mm. That's the most unusual concept to me. Yeah. I don't trust getting my penis looked at by a doctor. No. Lobsters mm-hmm. only. Yes. They have a keen eye for a penis skin. It just fits so well in their claw. Keen eye for penis skin. Mm-hmm. Got me. Wait, and you got hit by the bus. Like Stranger or? Than Fiction? Stranger Than Fiction. Oh, I love yeah, that. That's yeah. a great movie. Yeah. Dude. I love that movie. I remember doing yeah. that movie. Though. I, I thought that. Maggie... I, I, that's I the only it. movie I could honestly say... I thought Maggie Gyllenhaal was attractive. She's got uh, that droopy face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. So, that, she's that a that? she's oh, a beagle yeah. or a hound dog for yeah. sure. <laughs> she's like oh no oh no oh, oh, no 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 no. Dude, when I'm not drunk, I can do the fucking oh, voice. What what is this oh, ca- what is this catchphrase? Oh, is it oh boy? Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he fucking do though? He's like. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. He's got the stoner eyes. Oh boy. You see the people came. <laughs> the people came. <laughs> it's like fucking it's Bill an Cosby. old, old cartoon of this. Oh. You know, the droopy faced dog? Yeah, droopy faced dog. With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the oh, shot at eyes? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I can't boy. fucking do it. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Oh boy. There you go. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Dude, if I'm not drunk, I can do that fucking voice. I did it the other day. I swear.